People always ask why I go so hard, why I go so hard. Let me tell you this. I fought for this person. I fought for her. I fought for me. She wasn't handed to me. Don't think for one minute that she was handed to me. When I say I fought for her, I fought for her. And when you fight for something or someone, something, the way I fought for me, there's no other way but to come is real. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin, coming back with another one. And as y'all can see, I'm coming live from the Rose Garden, man. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. We got another beautiful day out here. So y'all already know, I got to thank the Most High for waking me up this morning and giving me another opportunity to be great. And I want to send a big shout out to my brother and my ancestors that's up there looking out for your boy. I love y'all. I love y'all. Look at that. Look at that, man. Got another beauty out here. Y'all know the vibes, man. Backdrop check. Backdrop check. You know, we out here. We out here. About to bust a few laps, man. That's why I like coming out here, too, because I just do laps around here. And walking is good for you, you know? But, man, listen, I had to show y'all that clip. From Indy Remy. Shout out to Indy Remy. Or you could, you know, I, I kind of say Indy Remy, like indirect, but her name is Remy. Whatever. Just put in Indy Remy and go follow her on Instagram. Go follow her on TikTok because she do comedy and she funny as hell, though. You know, she funny as hell, but that was the most serious clip where I seen her where she just keeping it 100. You know what I'm saying? She keeping it 100. And at the end of the day, you know, you got to fight for you, too. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what she talking about. You know, the person who she is today, she had to fight for that. The person who we are today, we had to fight for that. You know what I mean? And when you didn't put your blood, sweat, and tears into yourself, when you didn't put your blood, sweat, and tears into making changes, when you didn't put your blood, sweat, and tears into your purpose, into your elevation, bro, how else are you supposed to be but real? You know what I'm saying? When you didn't did this in real time. You know what I'm saying? When you didn't did it with real energy. You know, when you didn't have to make real sacrifices out here to get to the level that you on right now. You know what I'm saying? Where your mind didn't elevate it. You know, you didn't change so much with yourself. You didn't change your way of thinking. You didn't change your way of eating. You didn't change the way you move. You didn't change your whole vibration. You didn't switch everything up to the point to where it's like, bruh, you know what I mean? You just got rid of all fakeness. You got rid of all darkness. You know what I'm saying? You got rid of all demonic spirits and all of that shit. And you work every day to keep it that way. I want you to understand you work every day to keep it that way. Yeah, we have our moments, we have our situations, but still though, you know, it's just different because we up for the fight, you know, because you fighting for you. You know what I'm saying? You fighting for you. You're not out here trying to fight everybody else's battle. You know what I'm saying? You're not out here with your nose in everybody else's business. You minding yours because you know how important you are. You know how it, how you know how how important it is for you to shine, for you to elevate, for you to grind, for you to have your peace, for you to have your energy, for you to have your health. It's very important. You know what I'm saying? Because it's only one you, like I be trying to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? And that's what make you so special. And when you see how special you is, when you really start to love yourself, then you want to fight for you. You know what I'm saying? You want to fight for you. You start to get a lot of that innocence back that was once taken, that we once allowed this world to corrupt. You know what I mean? You start to, you know, you know, you just start to get a lot of things back that you lost sight of. And that's what you want to just keep fighting for, bro. And that's like, you know, it's like a great feeling to have, bro, because a lot of us felt like it wasn't no coming back. We were so we, we were so deep in darkness that we felt like, man, listen, it ain't no way I'm going to get out of this. It ain't no way I'm going to be able to fight off this addiction. Ain't no way I'm going to be able to fight off these problems. Ain't no way I'm going to be able to fight off this low energy. Ain't no way. You know what I'm saying? We didn't all hit the wall like that before. You know what I'm saying? But we had to crawl out of that. We have to get out of that. We have to fight our way out of that. You know what I'm saying? You ever felt like you just was getting jumped by life? 
You know what I'm saying? You got mugs out here like, like for real, for real. I'm just keeping it 100. I would rather be jumped by a bunch of people than be jumped by life because life is more serious. You know what I'm saying? You know, you could physically throw punches back in a fight and maybe get yourself out of that. But in life, when these problems come, you know what I mean? When these spiritual problems come, when your spirits is low, you know what I mean? When you having psychological problems, you know what I'm saying? When you having the mental issues and all of that shit, you know, when you having health issues and all of that, bro, listen, you know what I'm saying? That's a different type of fight. You know what I'm saying? It's a different type of fight. But when you got the energy for it, when you up for it, when you really got the love for yourself out here, bro, you willing to do what it takes. You know what I'm saying? You start to get close to the most high and the most high letting you know, like, bro, you know what I'm saying? I did not bring you here for you to fall. I did not bring you here for you to fall. I did not bring you here for you to be in darkness. I brought you here for you can grow so you can elevate to be prosperous, to be winning, to be blessed. You know what I'm saying? You start realizing that, bro. And I'm telling you, man, you just rise up. You know what I mean? You stand taller than you ever have. You know what I'm saying? You stand taller than you ever have. You put up, man, you want to fight for everything in your life. You know what I'm saying? You want to fight for that. Before, man, we, we, we would just give in to all types of shit. You know what I mean? All types of weaknesses we would just let just bring us down, hold us down, keep us down. You know what I'm saying? And now we don't fuck around. Excuse my French. You know what I mean? Now we don't mess around with it. So understand, bro. And it's just like, bro, you know what I mean? It's just like she said, though, man. This is like, you know, how could you not be real? How could you not come with realness when everything about you, you know what I mean? Just reeks of it because of what you didn't have to go through. You know what I'm saying? What you didn't have to fight through. You know, what you didn't have to rise above through, bro. You didn't rose above a lot of shit out here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things out here where we seeing a lot of people fold to. So understand how blessed you are. And you got to be willing to keep fighting, bro. No matter how down you are. You know, no matter how low you feel. No matter how much you don't want to do something, bro. You got to continue to fight because you worth it, bro. Understand that you worth it. You didn't came way too damn far to be giving up now. You know what I'm saying? You didn't came way too far than to be thinking about throwing in the towel. And I can't even say thinking about because sometimes we be wanting to give up. I ain't going to lie. Sometimes we be just like, man, you know what I'm saying? And you going to have those thoughts. And that's normal. That's what I want to tell y'all too, bro. It's normal sometimes to want to just give in. It's normal sometimes to want to fall. But you got to be able to fight through that and get back up, get up, and just keep going, bro. You know, we go through it all the time, man. You know, hell, we wouldn't be us. We wouldn't be human if we didn't, you know, have a moment like that every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Because we know most of the time we getting our ass up. Most of the time our energy is high. Most of the time we in a good spirit. We positive. You know what I'm saying? Because those are all the things that we fight for. Those are all the things that we fight for. That's why we got to stay away from low energy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because when your life is filled with negative shit, when your life is, is just in a low vibrational state, when your mind is always in a gutter, then guess what, bro, man? Listen, you know what I mean? Most of the time, you're going to be giving up. Most of the time, you're just going to be laying down. Most of the time, you're just going to be choosing pleasure. Most of the time, you're going to be choosing darkness because you're doing things that's, you know, that's, that's in cahoots with that shit. You know what I'm saying? You're doing things that's so anti you. You know what I'm saying? Like I said yesterday, you know, so that's why you got to stay in this light that we in. That's why you got to continue to fight for this glow. That's why you got to continue to understand that you are big blessed out here. Don't lose sight of that. You know what I mean? The devil wants you to think you ain't blessed. These elites want you to think that you ain't blessed. Haters want you to think that you ain't blessed. These women want you to think that you ain't blessed out here. The succubus ones. But the queens know what's up. You know what I'm saying? Don't think that don't nobody see you either, bruh. These women see you, bruh. These women see you. Don't think that don't nobody see you putting in this work. These women see it. You know what I'm saying? But just because you focus, 
just because you may be getting choosing signals, listen, dog, that don't mean you got to be approaching. You know what I mean? Because you got to stay focused. Just because you getting these choosing signals don't mean you got to be approaching because you got to stay focused out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Every the, the, the signs that you need to see, you will see them. You will get them. As long as you keep your mind clear, as long as you continue to have your peace, as long as you to keep your you continue to keep your vibrations high, as long as you keeping it real with yourself, bro. Listen, bro. Your vision clearer than ever. You know what I mean? Like I tell you, bro, you got that 2020 vision. You know what I'm saying? Not that 1110. You know what I mean? Not that 1413. You know what I mean? Not that 89. You got 2020 vision right now. So everything that you need to see, everything that you're supposed to see, listen, bro, you seeing it. You seeing it. And the person that you even is trying to be, the person that you striving to be, listen, you being that right now. Don't think that, oh, it's just so, it's just so far away. Oh, you know what I mean? I got to do this, bro. Listen, the work that you putting in right now, where you learning and getting stronger, you know what I mean? You don't even realize that you are already that person that you see in your vision. You know what I mean? Sometimes we just be so embedded, you know what I mean? In our process that we don't even see how much we are becoming the vision. You know what I'm saying? We don't even realize how close we are to the destination. We don't even realize how big blessed that we are every time we get a chance, an opportunity to get up and inch closer. You know what I'm saying? So you don't even be realizing because you got your head down and you just working. You just running through things. You just keeping it real with yourself. You keeping it 100 with your health. Man, listen, bro. Can't nobody stop you. Can't nobody stop you, bro. You putting in too much work. And like I tell you all the time, bro, that cannot be taken away from you. People can hate. People can be mad. People can pray for your downfall. But listen, bro, what you doing right now cannot be taken away from you. You know what I'm saying? Because you boots on the ground for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You out here putting in real work for yourself. You know what I mean? You out here putting in showing real love for yourself and not even just for yourself, for people, for humanity. You know what I'm saying? Every day that you show up, every day that you smile, every day that you show them that you you could change, bro. You think people don't see that? You know what I mean? There's people right now walking around that they, they never thought you would be able to change. They never think could think that they self could change. But then when they see it in you, bro, you don't even understand how much of an example you are. You don't even understand how much of a leader you are. You don't even understand how much real you are. And you got mugs out here trying to be real niggas, but don't want to be real men. Don't want to be the real them. But you being the real you, and that's why you so true. And that's my word, man. My name's Jay Sam. My name's Sante. And this Sante, and I'm gone, man. Peace.